Welcome everyone to My Weight World TV. I'm Dr. Brenda MD and I'm here with a certified nutritionist and personal trainer Scott White. Today we're going to talk about balance training. Hi Scott. Hi. Scott, can you tell us what exactly is balance training? Of course, balance training more specifically would be considered neuromuscular training. So something that requires a lot of stability, body to balance and control a lot of forces, you know, outside forces and inside forces from an internal muscular standpoint. Okay. So why is it good for us? You know, the reason why it's so great is because, of course, as we age, we start to lose balance. And, you know, majority of people, when they fall, they, you know, the statistics show that when older people fall, they can break a hip. And that, of course, that time in the hospital is detrimental to their health. So, of course, making sure the balance, you know, doing balance training and all that stuff, is going to make it so they don't fall as often or at all and of course from a neuromuscular fatigue and all that stuff it burns a ton of calories you know having to you know do push-ups on a stability ball or a swiss bar or whatever you want to call it or you know having to do multiple joint exercises while having to balance on a you know a balance um or a bosu ball or a stability board or something like that requires a lot of concentration and causes a great deal of fatigue you're bringing up a lot of things there that I'm hmm, not too good at. Um, can you give me some good, you know, just simple, good balancing training exercises? Yeah, very simple ones. Is stuff start off standing on one foot, doing like a shoulder oh, press or okay. shoulder press with one arm and one foot, and then you can add a Swiss ball into it. You know, pretty much perform your whole routine on a Swiss ball, from a bench press to a push up to, you know, a squat. Um, you know, incorporating all different things. Standing on what's considered a Bosu ball, which is like. Uh, I'm sure everybody's seen one. It's like a ball that's cut off and there's a, a pad you can stand on on top. So mm -hmm. when you stand on it, you can squat and it forces you to stabilize and work your small little muscles, which is your stabilizers, a lot more intensely as opposed to your you know, larger muscles, which causes you know, your fatigue even more. So using these balancing exercises increases your neuromuscular training and helps your stability, helps prevent falls. Yeah. Um, how about yoga and Pilates? Does that help with balancing? Yoga, Pilates, it's all similar. I mean, movement in general, all exercises are, are good. Yoga, they do a lot of like standing poses, you know, downward dogs, you know, one arm up, you know, there's incorporated. Everybody kind of like steals movement and calls it what they want. Be it yoga, be it Pilates, be it, you know, whatever it may be. You know, resistance training, all forms. You do squats in yoga, you do lunges in yoga, you do all kinds of different things postural stands, push-up holds, things like that. And so all forms of exercise are phenomenal. And so whatever is, you prefer is typically the best one you should stick with because you're going to probably stick with it longer. Yeah, that's good. Well, thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Dr. Brenda, MD, with My Weight World TV, and we'll see you next time.